The first ism to be discussed is capitalism. Important people in capitalism are Thomas Mathis and David Ricardo, who agreed with Adam Smith's idea of laissez-faire, which means letting the owners of businesses set working conditions without interference of the government. They decided they wanted to take Smith's ideas further, which led them to modern-day capitalism. Capitalism is a system in which money is invested in businesses' ventures with the goal of making a profit. Next to be discussed is utilitarianism. As an overall, it is a philosophy that is consequential where the end justifies whether a decision is good or not, and a determination of how useful or how utile something has. Mortality is then applied to the decision based on the impact of them. Important people include Jeremy Betham and John Stuart Mill. Jeremy Betham gave every impact a positive or negative value to determine whether they were good or not. He thought the mortality of a decision is based on the greater amount of positive versus negative consequences. Bentham used this to determine the greatest good in any situation. He wanted legal and social reforms and thought if laws or rules don't do any good, then they aren't any good. He made known the principle of utility as the standard of right action on the part of governments and individuals. Actions are approved when they are such to promote happiness or pleasure and disproved when they have a tendency to cause unhappiness or pain. Then there was John Stuart Mill. Mill admired Betham's work but disagreed with some of his claims. He had a more positive view of humans and thought we should not be punished as harshly in some situation because of our emotions like guilt and remorse. He modified Bentham's approach for the greatest good for the greatest number of people. He believed that the greatest good might not be for the greatest number of people, but for those who benefit from it. Mill wanted women's social status to be improved because he saw them as useful and capable, and he thought it would be able to create more happiness than anger if women were given things such as education. Furthermore, there is socialism. Socialism is a system that came up soon after the idea of capitalism. It was brought up by the French reformers who wanted to balance capitalism by giving the factors of production to the public so that they are able and available to all. This was supposed to promote equality and remove property from having the government control this equal distribution of resources. Also, the government in a socialist society is supposed to plan the economy instead of letting the market decide what would happen. This is important because of how the, in a capitalist society no one would have to fix the problems in the economy that may rise, and so nobody would unless it would be productive to a business. While socialism by itself is by no means perfect, the use of some socialist ideas, including having a government helping to keep the econ economy stable, are very important in maintaining a strong economic system, whether it is a capitalist or utilitarian. However, the idea of socialism was taken even further when it was inspired by the idea of communism. In communism, production should be owned by the government and no private property is there is and everything is shared. An important person in communism was Karl Marx. He believed economics are the main cause of every problem in society. He believed there are two types of people, bourgeoisies, who are people that have everything, and proletari proletariats, who are have-nots. Without the government, capitalism would eventually destroy itself. Communism would then spread. After everything, Marx's ideas inspired many revolutions, and his ideas spread. Finally, the best of the isms that were shown was socialism. Socialism is not a perfect system by itself, and the idea of socialism that the government owns everything required for a business greatly restricts its enterprises. However, socialism is the only system which allows for businesses 
and has the government regulate business, which is important to cause businesses left by themselves, will hurt people if there is a profit from doing so. And a government controlling everything will be too easily ruined if there is an instability in the government. Therefore, socialism is overall the best economic system out of all of the isms, and the ideas of socialism can be put into good use in a capitalism or utilitarianism system, making it the best.